Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a really great day. In today's video, do we want to take a look on public pool that I'm running locally on my start nine node and how to update it. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, we are currently taking a look on the standard web interface that you do see if you run start nine locally at home on a mini PC in a VM or anything like that. If you don't know how to run Start9, check out the info box in the top right corner. There is a video linked on how to install Start9. So the first thing that we actually do notice is on the left hand side, we have three updates. We have Core Lightning, Red Lightning and Public Pool. We want to take a look on Public Pool and what has changed there. What's new section doesn't tell that much, but what I want to make sure is to tell you what kind of things have changed here and how the update process is working. Because if you do run public pool on your start nine node, there were a couple of instructions on how to set it up. You needed to use the CLI and so on. If you don't know how to do that, there is another video that I can link in the info box in the top right corner. We need to copy all of these so from the cat from the cat all the way down to the eol we copy all of them then we go over here and we just paste it in here don't modify anything so if you want to run this on your start nine note make sure to check this out apart from that the what's new section is basically telling you that it has been updated to the latest public pool and public pool ui version which was or which is not that much telling but it's good because there were a couple of features, fixes and so on in the current public pool version that is running on web.public-pool.io but uh, it was never really changed in the start nine package so now it has been updated to the latest one. So let's click on update and let's see if we need to redo all the steps for setting it up or not. I'll give this a second to actually install everything I just clicked on update and that's basically how easy it is to update any sort of things on your start nine node it doesn't matter if it is core lightning bitcoin core bitcoin nodes or whatever you use updating apps is super simple and easy on your start nine so let's quickly wait for it to download and install everything and then we'll take a look if public pool still works or if we need to use the cli again and take a look on that so i'll see you in just a second if you're looking for home mining solutions or any educational content all around Bitcoin, look no further than Bitcoin Permanent, your only choice of getting the newest and hottest tech worldwide. Check them out at BitcoinBrabant.com. All right, here we go. Now we have finally updated everything and it's time to check out public pool again. So we're running the version 0.2.5, which is not just like a minor increment in updates and fixes and changes, but rather it's it's quite a big change because the previous version that you that was available to you on the start nine registry was a rather old version, even from last year. And now we are finally running all the things that are built into public pool till this day. So it is basically all the nice new features that haven't been in there. I'd say it's not 100% necessary to update it, but in order to give this like a more stable view and more stable processing, I think it's better to just run on the latest version because this is also the version that is running on the official public pool uh, that you can just connect your BitX to. And uh, yeah, then it, it's just the same. And updating things is always nice. To give you a little bit of an overview of how long this took, it was roughly like five minutes uh, that it took to actually update it and if you do take a look on it we are up and running for four minutes it seems like we do have six current workers which should be about right so let me quickly check out one of the burner wallets that i do have and here we go i've now taken a look into it it seems like everything is as usual this right here should be the same worker as the other one previously before so it's just running smoothly these old connections will be eliminated in just a second and as far as i can tell i didn't even need to change it i didn't even need to do anything on the cli so it was a seamless process i didn't need to do anything so upgrading it is really easy and 
taking a look on it, running this locally at home is so simple, so easy, and everybody can do that. This is just a quick update video for you guys to tell you that there is an update on your Start9 and you should not miss out on that. With that, I thank everybody for tuning in and taking a look on this video. Till then, see you next time.